Hey everyone, Emtash here, and you might remember that six months ago I jumped in at the launch of this game, and I am now trying it again six months later. Dragon Quest Tact has sponsored me to check out the game, and I've got 10 big reasons why you might want to try it out. Number one, it's free to play, so click the link down below and let's get started. Now I already mentioned that Dragon Quest Tact is free, but you might also notice all these events going on. This is the perfect time to jump in whether you're a new player or a returning player that maybe took a break since launch. With all these events going on, you can get a bunch of different free scouts as well as gear to upgrade your monsters and overall dominate in game. There is a lot going on for the 6 month anniversary and it's just getting started so it's the perfect time to play. Now there's a lot of events going on for the 6th anniversary and I wanted to highlight a few of them that are exceptionally good for you new players. The daily login bonus is going to give you 300 gems every day and literally any of the main activities you're doing, whether it's ranking up, daily quests, or upgrading abilities when you get further in the game, you're gonna get bonus rewards for pretty much everything that you do. There's also an event to battle bosses from other Dragon Quest games that you might remember, such as Zoma, to get S-tier gear that will help you out tremendously on the grind. There's also an anniversary shop where you can earn currency just from playing the game and trade it in for some amazing materials for the end game as well as scouting different units. There's beginner missions to help you get started and get a free S rank voucher, 3000 gems and a bunch of other rewards just from playing through and these are honestly super easy to get. There's also some special scout events with my favorite being the 100 free scouts that you can get. This is amazing for new players jumping into the game and summons every single day that you log in up to 100 which is going to be a game changer for most people's accounts. So let's take a peek at what we got there. I swear it's not rigged, but we got some golds. Nice, Armored Scorpion, new unit. And we got an S rank. So uh, the luck is flowing today. Elena! Elena! I think she's in one of the first Dragon Quests I played. I think she's in like number four or something. If you're a new player, I would jump through and do the first couple of chapters to get your bearings, but then you can jump in with the six month anniversary event. Now, this mission is to only kill one slime, but you get a thousand gems to get you started in Dragon Quest Tact. However, the event that I'm most excited for is the Fiendish Assault, taking on bosses from previous Dragon Quest games, even though they're going to roll me this early in. Okay, slap them. Brilliant. What? That's all the damage I did! I better come back later. Dragon Quest Tact is also full of strategy, with enemies having different strikes and weaknesses. Uh, you know, in this case, I'm about to one-bang this enemy because they're very weak. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> 86 damage. It's insanity. It's good. You can protect your damage dealers with tankier units out front or attack from a range like I'm doing now. And I just like the way that this game flows overall. And so far, the story has been really charming and I'm enjoying the characters. Now, I touched on this before, but completing missions will give you currency to use in the six-month anniversary shop, so let's go take a peek at that as well. Now, just from playing the game, you can get some free scouts, which is great, but there's rank-up materials, there's ability scrolls, and talent upgrade materials. These are super valuable going into the end game, and to get them this early just from playing is super valuable. One of the reasons I've been enjoying it is because there's a lot of monsters that are nostalgic, like the Slime Knight, as well as King Slime. And what's not to love? Look at him! He's so cute! There are a bunch of monsters to collect, which means that team customization is very important. Monsters have different leader skills, which will boost your team depending on the units that you're using. And even if a unit isn't S tier, you can rank them up, level them up, upgrade their skills, and they can be very valuable to your team. I swear, when I make these videos, I'm the luckiest guy ever. I got another S rank. Uh, I'm stacked. Now, I'm pretty new to the game myself, and so with all these different rewards that are coming in, I feel like I am getting ahead, and I feel like I jumped in at a good time. Um, overall, I really enjoy the strategy, but it doesn't feel overwhelming to learn or anything like that. I've just been enjoying plugging away, collecting different monsters, trying to figure things out, and uh, the game is free to play, so you don't really lose anything for clicking that link down below and downloading Dragon Quest Tech today. Uh, this is a sponsored video, but I mean... I think I'm a pretty honest guy, and I've had fun with Dragon Quest Tech, so give it a try. It really supports me if you click that link down below and you download it. And thank you so much, Square Enix, for giving me another opportunity to check this game out. Now, I need to win this battle because if I do, I get this healer, and I, don't, I literally don't have any healers at all. So uh, it's time to slap. All right, let's see. Multi-fist, one bang. Let's do it. Later! Thank you very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and if you do end up downloading Dragon Quest Tact, let me know who you get in your first scouts, and I want to know if you got lucky. 
Thanks again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.